This is a short tutorial about how to design a simple ALU. Before designing ALU, one should have good concepts about some basic digital devices like full ladder, shift registers, flip flops, counters, etc. Any standard book on digital electronics will cover this topic. Before going inside, we should have a clear knowledge about this, otherwise, it will be difficult for us to cope up with all the concepts. We can consider ALU as a black box which have two inputs A and B, some control signals which will determine which operation will be performed between A and B, either there will be addition, subtraction or any other logical operation. After the operation performed, there will be some output and the status of the ALU like whether there is any carry or overflow occurred or not, there, there, those will be in the flags or flag register. Suppose in this case we want to design ALU which can perform 8 functions. These are add, subtract, increment by 1, decrement by 1, and or right shift, rotate left. Since we are performing 8 operations, so we require 3 bits to control which operation will be performed, whether there will be addition, subtraction, or other things. Like 00, zero means well, there will be addition between A and B, 001 will mean there will be subtraction between A and B and others. Before designing ALU, first we divide our operations into two categories. One category is arithmetic operations and another is logical operations. Arithmetic operation includes which will require some addition operation like uh, that means there will be a requirement of full adder for these operations like add, subtract, increment by 1, decrement by 1, these four. Logical operations does not require any addition operation, so it does not require full error. These are AND or right shift, rotate left. This can be done only using logic gates, simple logic gates. First, we want to describe about arithmetic operations. Uh, first, we see the block diagram of full, full adder. A uh, full adder has three inputs A, B, and carry in, and there is output and there is a carry out. Now, we see the operations that will be performed by this full adder. First, in case of addition, it's simple, quite A plus B. In this case, carry in should be zero. Now, when we want to subtract A from B, uh, we know from our digital electronics concept that we have to add two's complement of B with A, which will mean A minus B. Now, two's complement of B is equal to not of B, means complement of B plus one. So, to subtract B from A, we we perform the following operations: A plus complement of B plus carrying cos one which will more elaborate in the next slide. Uh, increase of increment by a by 1. So we have to add 1 with a. So we make the input b 0 and just make carry in 1 and add a with carry in. Now increasing uh, in case of decrement a by 1, the 2's complement of 1 in case of 8 bit number is like this. So what we have to do, we have to make the input B 1 for all bits. All bits of the input B should be 1 and the carry in should be 0. So if we add A with this, this will cause A minus 1. We see the operations in laboratory. When we want to add A with B, this is our A, this is our B. So A plus B equals to the result and in this case carry in should be 0. When I want to increment a by 1, so this is our a, in this case b should be 0. And carry in 1 after addition, we get the result which increases a by 1. In case of subtraction, there should be a and 2's complement of b. This operation whole is 2's complement of b. First is not of b, then carry in 1 if we add these three together we get the final result but there is some problem we get carry out here we just ignore this and we get the final result 
in case of decrement again we want two complement of one which means all of the bits of b should be one carry in zero and after addition we get the result this decreases a by one in this case also we will have to ignore the carry bit now we can consider a block diagram for this arithmetic operations the block diagram has a full adder two inputs a and the input b is selected basing on which operation will be performed so the control signal determines whether there will be addition subtraction or increment or decrement if it's addition then the input b directly should go to the input of full adder if it's subtraction the b should be the original complement of the b in case of increment the all the bit of b should be all the bits of b should be zero in case of decrement all the bits of b should be one control signal will determine which will be the actual input b and it will again determine whether the k in is zero or one we know in case of increment and subtract k in is one and other two cases it's zero then full adder will perform its addition then after this we will get the output and the carry out now we see in case of subtract and decrement there is some ambiguity in carry out we have to correct it by some logic box which will determine in case the there is a subtract or decrement then the carry out from the full adder should be complemented to get the final carry out next comes the logical operations the logical operations in case of logical operations we have already completed our arithmetic operations we have the output from the full adder this is the output from the full adder then to get the final output we again need a 8 to 1 marks in case we have the output of full adder and our logical operations are a and b a or b right shift a rotate left a so we see only five inputs of 8 1 marks is required and other three are uh, not used here now the control signal determines whether there will be a and b a or b or it was an addition subtraction if it was an addition subtraction or increment decrement th then the output from the full adder should go to the final output if there is an and operation between a and b the control signal determines that then the output of a and b should go to the final output if there is right shift rotate then correspondingly this should go to the final output we see how these logic operations are performed using the bulk textures suppose we see a is a 4 bit number its msb is a3 lsb is a0 these blue boxes all are 8 1 marks these marks here we require 5 in here is 5 input the first input is from the full adder second input is from a and b this is the lsb of a and b then third input is from a or b this is the lsb of a or b and all the bits are as uh, similar type of uh, in here is a, a naught and b naught here will be just a1 and b1 here will be a2 and b2 and others now we are left with right shift and rotate left operation if this is a 4 bit number then after shifting right by 1 bit the a3 will be here a2 here a1 here there will be 0 in msb and a naught will be the will go to the k in case of rotate this rotate left in the, this a3 will go to the lsb a2 will be here, a1 here, a0 here, and this a3 will go to the k flag. So, these, the in case of shift right, lsb should be a1, and here is a1, then there should be a2, here is a2, here is a3, and msb should be 0, here is 0. In case of rotate left, 
the LSB should be A3. Here is A3, then should be A0, here is A0, A1, A2, and others. And the control signal determines which operation has performed and or or the addition subtraction and the corresponding input in these multiplexers will go to the final output and there is carry flag if there is an arithmetic operation then the carry from the full error directly goes to the output carry flag and if there is a shift right or rotate left then the corresponding bits a node or a3 is selected as carry flag now we combine the arithmetic operations and the logic operations together. This block performs the arithmetic operations, this block performs the logical operations. The output from the full error, that means arithmetic operations, goes to the input of these marks here, and the logical inputs, logical operation inputs are here. Control signal determines which operation is performed, should be performed, and the selected output is goes. Is, the, has, uh, is sent to the final output. Now, here is our carry flag. The carry flag, uh, the output carry from the full adder goes to this carry flag, and in case of shift and rotate, the corresponding N or A3 bit will be the final carry out. This is the almost all the things of a simple ALU. We are left with one thing that is flags. Flex is calculated basing on the output, final output. If all the bits of a final output is 0, then the 0 flag should be 1. That means it is a non operation of all the inputs, also, sorry, of all the final outputs. If there is a even number of 1, then the parity flag should be 1. So it's an x non operation of all the final outputs. Sign flag is simple, it is the MSB of the final output, carry flag has been already previously discussed and we are left with overflow flag. Overflow flag is the carry in, XOR of carry in and carry out at the MSB. This is the all things about a simple AU.